Hi people, it's Archivist here coming at you with yet another top 5. In today's video, I will be ranking the 5 acts in Diablo 3 from worst to best. The issue with a list such as this is of course that an argument could be made for any ordering. For that reason I thought that my opinion alone would not be enough. So after browsing many forum posts regarding this topic, I think I've managed to compile an ordering that reflects the general opinion. Oh and by the way, there will be major plot spoilers in this video. Number 5 One opinion that was very common among Diablo 3 fans is that Act 2 is simply not very good. Act 2 suffers from being overly drawn out, filled with boring monsters and a storyline that pales in comparison to Act 1. At first I enjoyed the brighter tones of the sunny desert but after a while it began to wear on me. It's also especially demeaning when the hero of Sanctuary is reduced to a glorified bug swatter. However, in the defense of Act 2, there were some who enjoyed the Belial boss fight. Number 4 Act 4 feels very underwhelming for a story segment set in the high heavens. The first thing that bothered me, and apparently many others, was that this is the only act in the entire game that doesn't feature its own town. Not to mention it's the shortest act in the game with not a lot of variation. However, I do have to praise the general look of Act 4. The level itself was very well designed with some pretty interesting things happening in the background. Also, this was the act where you actually got to fight Diablo, which is definitely a plus. Number 3 Act 3 represented a change of pace for Diablo 3 players. There was a much greater focus on narrow hallways and far less on open fields. The siege of Bastion Keep gave a great sense of urgency to your mission. Mortal Fire crashed onto the ramparts while demons relentlessly scaled the walls. One moment that stuck in my mind was the epic death animation when you kill Asmodan. What a messy way to go. Number 2 Act 1 wins points straight away for nostalgia value. Everything from the town itself to the boss fights referenced the original Diablo. I noticed this was a common favourite among long term Diablo fans. Players also seem to enjoy the quest flow which is certainly one of the best in the game. I also enjoyed Act 1's interior locations for their emphasis on environmental kills. There are plenty of traps you can unleash on foes be it a falling chandelier or a collapsing wall. It's number one. Act 5 is the newest addition to the game and luckily it managed not to disappoint. One of the greatest strengths of Act 5 would be the graphical design, which really does epitomise Diablo's overall tone. The boss fights are also very good in terms of both mechanics and story relevance. The Malfail fight in particular is a lot of fun, especially on high difficulties. Act 5 went on for quite a while, however it never dragged on like Act 2 did. The environments were varied just enough to make playing through feel dynamic without breaking the cohesive design. Those were the Diablo 3 acts, listed from worst to best. Considering how subjective this topic is, I can imagine there will be a lot of variation in terms of your opinions. Be sure to share your ordering in the comments below. Also, I'd like to take a second to say thank you to the people who helped me out by sharing their opinions on the Diablo 3 forums. As always people, thanks very much for watching, and see you next time. Subscribe to the Archivist 42 channel for gaming top 5s, reviews and more.